Welcome back to Borderlands 2. Okay, so start off here real quick. This little section at the start of the video is going to be sped up, so that's why the gun is looking weird and why I'm moving fast. I sped that up because this is voiceover commentary. It's not in-game commentary, and the reason for that is because after I finish the recording session, uh, it's also the last recording session of the playthrough, so this playthrough is finished. I just got to uh, edit these and add commentary and get stuff together and uploaded. Uh, so the reason I'm doing voiceover is because... Uh, when I finished recording, I went to save the project in Audacity, just save every bit of audio uh, so I can edit it and make sure I don't lose any of the audio. And what happened is audio cr or the Audacity crashed, and that was not a very good thing to have happen, but I lost all the audio. Uh, I tried recovering the project. Uh, Audacity is, does save backup files. Uh, just in case it crashes so you can recover it. But I guess it doesn't really like recording over two and a half hours in a single setting with stereo audio. Uh, with 24-bit audio at 48 kilohertz. So, that sucks because that means I have to redo all this commentary. And the little bit of audio that did get saved, Audacity fucked up on saving it and ended up distorting it. And it saves thousands upon thousands of files when you record stuff. So, they're, I think, like 15 to 30 second little audio clips it saves. I think they're all 15 seconds. Uh, so, it saves these 15 second clips, and it saves just a ton of them. So, two and a half hours, freaking 15 clips. Let me get a calculator open to just uh, freaking check this. There, that means there is four clips per minute. So, two hours times 60 minutes, plus let's just add 35 minutes because it was over two and a half hours. So that's 155 minutes times four. That's 620 clips uh, just for the audio, but it saves far more files than that. But that's just the clips alone, uh, apparently. Uh, I'm pretty sure it saves more than that, though, because whenever I delete the projects after I'm done with the audio from them, whenever I delete them, it's always deleting like 3,000 or 4,000 files or something. So, anyways, yeah, voiceover commentary for the rest of this playthrough. Sorry about that. Also, no face cam. I already took my green screen down. I already took my camcorder down. Uh, it was set up on a tripod behind my monitor. I already moved everything because I'm going to be done with YouTube after this playthrough is finished. And I just wanted to take some stuff down. So, yeah. It's also more of a pain in the ass to edit when I have to line up audio and deal with face cam stuff. It's a lot easier when I don't have to. Uh, it is possible that I might do some streaming in the future, but I'm not sure. There's no guarantee on that. Uh, I'm going to be bugging Craig a lot to join some of his streaming stuff. Uh, we're going to be speaking on there. He's already agreed to it. Like, yeah, yeah, you can you can join in. So I'll be on his, some of his streams. So Craig, the Umpro Pro, uh, you can find a link to his channel in my channel's other channels section. Uh, I think he has it, the name set. I guess I can check that right now, can't I? Uh, so, because I'm just looking around here. He has his channel set to... Do, 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 let me see here. Uh, right now, he, Craig has his channel name set to William, the Umpro Pro. Uh, so you can check that from the other gamers section on my channel. Other gamers. Uh, if it changes, or if he changes his name on there, then obviously it'll be different. But he seems to always stick with the Unpro Pro part, so just look for that. So, yeah. Getting pretty close to the end of this game. Holy shit, I was kicking ass. I really, I was mostly fucking up my commentary throughout this entire recording session, though, because in this part, you're gonna find something out. It's freaking awesome. Uh, right now, I'm killing Scrack. Uh, it's just, those things are a pain in the ass. They're really awesome looking. They just look like freaking devil demon things. Uh, I don't think they're always red, but this time they're red. This is the second time through the game, obviously, but I, I don't think they are red the first time through the game. And they can be a pain in the ass, because I think they're basically just badasses. Each of them is basically a badass. And that kind of sucks just a little bit, because it just makes them really strong. And I think I already died once. I wasn't really paying too much attention, <laughs> but holy shit. Yeah, I think they've killed me every time I did that quest. They killed me at least once, and it, it probably would have been better if I waited a little bit and did the thing I do after killing them, 
but I'm not sure, I guess, just luck changes and stuff. Uh, so the thing I ended up getting as a drop, which is the main reason why most of my commentary throughout this recording session was so fucked anyways, uh, is because of the thing I got from that drop. But if I got that before I started killing them, I gotta stop looking away from my mic. I keep looking off to the right of my mic, so it's probably muffling my audio. I gotta try and speak forward, but i am got the the video playing in the top right corner of my monitor right now, so I'm looking off to the right a little bit too much. Uh, so yeah, anyways, I forgot what I was saying. Damn it. I I'm pretty sure those things have killed me every time. But I if I had the thing I ended up getting as a drop, they probably would have just been destroyed because it also works when I'm in a vehicle, which is freaking awesome. I figured that out a little bit later as well. Uh, yeah, basically, I think there's 12 part. What part is this? This is part 138. So counting this part, there are 12 parts. This playthrough will end at part 149. Holy shit, and the last parts are going to be double video day, I think, because I get to the warrior on part 149, or no, on part 148, and then I die and have to repeat the entire fight. So, <laughs> I then have to do the rest, the entire fight, really, not just the rest of it, the entire fight on part 149, uh, which sucks. And yeah, warrior is level 52, so the scrack that I just killed were the same level as the warrior. Uh, and I'm only level 50. I think I stay level 50 for the remainder of this game, too. I might get to level 51. I honestly can't remember. But I know... Uh, Warrior isn't too hard for me to kill after I start avoiding his attacks. Uh, it's not too much of a pain in the ass. He just hits really friggin' hard. Uh, but the thing I'm gonna get is gonna be awesome. And I wanna... I wanna say what it is, but I'm getting it on this part. So I'm trying to shut up about it and not spoil what it is. Some of you probably already know what it is because I said that the Scrack would have been easier to kill and it works with the vehicle and music and stuff. And I think, is this the area where, yeah, this is the Hunter Hellquest guy right up here. And just by going up here, you probably, if you play this game a lot or you know some information about it, you probably know what it is I'm going to be getting. So I'm going on here to kill Hunter Hellquest for a quest, and I have to open this and just barrage him. I know he's usually pretty damn strong, so there he is. I think I phase lock and throw, yeah, throwing a bunch of grenades just to annihilate him as fast as I can. And here it is, right in, right there. That's what it did it. That, that was... That was it. I got the B shield. Fuck yes. I originally got the B shield from a Trent in Tiny Tina's DLC when I did this playthrough the first time. Uh, that was a 30 frames per second playthrough and stuff was just all sorts of fucked up on there. Uh, but <laughs> this time I got it for Hunter Hellquest. He has got one of the highest drop rates for it, if I remember right. And it just it made it so it was almost impossible to give commentary while killing things because by the time I started speaking they were dead because that fucking thing it's an amp shield but it's a unique amp shield as it does not drain your shields so that means every single bullet that you shoot is basically as strong as a rocket launcher no matter what bullet it is you can use a shotgun in every single one of those projectiles I'm pretty sure every one of the projectiles from a shotgun blast so if it's like a times 11 shotgun then all 11 of those will do boosted damage and I think it's a 40,000 damage boost so when I use SMG and that was an accident that switching to the turret there uh, so when I use an SMG or some automatic gun it's just like using an automatic rocket launcher and just freaking amazing and it's very very easy to argue that there is no point to use any other shield other than the B shield the only downside is if you get shot, then you don't do that boost of damage because your shields have to stay at their maximum. However, you kill stuff so fucking fast that you're pretty much not going to have to worry about that at all. You're just going to be able to see them and they're just going to get fucked up. As soon as, you, as soon as you see them, you start shooting, they're just, they're fucking dead. And I mean, I, I have to fight a badass constructor right after I fight Saturn later on and you're going to see... It's going to be all sorts of screwed up because even though Saturn and the badass constructor take a shit ton of damage before they're dead, I just, I destroy them because of the B shield. It's, it's just that good. Holy shit.
And I was not expecting to get that on this playthrough. I was thinking I was going to have to use the turtle shield for the rest of the game in order to survive easier. And uh, just getting the freaking... Uh, the bee shield, man. That's the new favorite now. <laughs> and you're going to see that here because I have to run over... Uh, these guys in this area are all low level. Uh, they didn't level up, but there's a final quest I have to work on for Zed, which is killing some boss abomination thing. Sort of like the Scrack, except it's... I think he combined Spider Ant with something. I don't remember. But you have to kill it. It's a lot stronger than the Scrack. And I think there's only one of them. But it's the only... I, I'm pretty sure it's the only thing in the area that gets leveled up to equal your level. So everything else in this area should be nice and low level. And that is just about the end of this video. So uh, I'm going to give my outro here in a sec. So... Uh, basically, I guess, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know with a comment or a like. I have to give some commentary, again, for every other video in this playthrough, because this is the last recording session of the playthrough. So, it's gonna be voiceover instead of in-game, but that's okay, I'm doing it right now. So, I'll see you guys on the next part or some other video, but until then, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.